So I'm going to ask you to create a diptych in Photoshop. Um, and what that is going to entail is that you're going to take two images and you're going to place them side by side and print them on the same piece of paper. Uh, a diptych is two images that need each other to sort of relate uh, continually, uh, that it's not one single photograph next to another single photograph, both photographs sort of work in a pair. So I have two images that I'm sort of thinking about uh, or two sets of images that I'm thinking about doing. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually grab these from the film strip down below. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually, before I edit them, I'm going to go ahead and put them into Photoshop so that I will edit them in Adobe Camera Raw. So you see I'm highlighting, I've shift clicked uh, both of these images and I'm going to drag them down into the Photoshop icon. And that's going to launch them in Photoshop. So if I go into Photoshop, I'm now in the Adobe Camera Raw dialog. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make my edit. So I'm going to go ahead and make this a little darker, a little more contrasty, a little warmer. I'm going to shift click um, and then do a right click to sync those settings so that they are now the same. And now I will open them and I'm going to go ahead and open them as smart objects. So I'm going to say open objects. And here we go. So now the camera raw formats being read. I've got these things going. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to minimize my Lightroom. And now I am in Photoshop. I've got the images exactly how I want them. And now what I need to do is I need to create a canvas size that is going to uh, accommodate both uh, images. So the first thing I am going to do is I know that I'm on a 13 by 19 inch piece of paper. So I'm going to go to image, image size, um, option command I for those of us playing along at home. I'm going to switch to inches. I'm going to make sure that both of these uh, height and width are locked together. And I'm going to make this 12 inches tall. So I'm going to turn my height to 12 inches. Um, I'm going to keep my resolution at 240 and I'm going to say OK. Um, as that's working, I'm going to go into my next one. I'm going to do Option Command I or Image, Image Size in my menu. I'm going to make the height of this image 12 inches and I'm going to say OK. So now I've got two images that are going to be sort of resized um, to the proportions I want. I know that I want to make an image that is going to fit on a 13 by 19 inch piece of paper and I know that I have a resolution of 240 dpi. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to File, New. And I'm going to go ahead and create a new document for both of those to live on. I could sort of change the canvas size. There's a bunch of different ways, but I think the easiest way for me right now is I'm going to now make the width of my image 19, and I'm going to make the height 13, which is my paper size. I'm going to make sure that my resolution is 240 pixels per inch, which is the size that both of my uh, files that I just worked on are. I'm going to make sure I'm in an RGB color mode and I'm going to make sure that this is a 16-bit color mode. And now uh, I'll do my background contents as white and I'll say create. So now I have this document in which I can take my images. Uh, there's a bunch of different ways to copy and paste images into this document. I think the easiest thing to do is go through this tab. You can see Photoshop works on these tabs set up so if I scroll through these I have my demo one, my demo two, and then my untitled image. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, go to this first image, and I'm going to select the Move tool, which is my first one. I can do command. I can do V on my uh, 
keyboard to grab this and I'm just gonna actually grab this image and I'm gonna move the full thing to the tab and I'm gonna hold it on the tab until this white image comes up and then I'm gonna drop it down and move it to this document. Now I'm gonna press the modifier key shift and when I drop it in with shift held, it should drop it into the center of the image. Um, it's preparing the smart object, here we go. Boom, and so now it's perfectly centered. I'm now going to grab and take the move tool and press the shift key and now what it's gonna do is it's going to allow me to move this horizontally along this axis. Now I'm gonna grab my second image, I'm going to go to the move tool, V, I'm going to grab this image, I'm going to take it to this tab, and then I'm going to take it down to this document area, and again, I'm gonna hold shift. And let that drop in. Shift is going to drop the image perfectly in the center for me. Uh, it's gonna go ahead and prepare the smart object, And now I can press and hold shift again. And you see now I can move these sort of on the same line. Now, what I'm gonna maybe do here is I'm going to go and make a center line. So if I know that I'm at uh, 19, if I go to nine and a half, I can drop a guideline um, with my rulers on. If you don't see your rulers, go to View, Rulers, or Command R. And now what I can do is I can move this, and now I can say, okay, I want these to be maybe a half inch from the edge, so I can move that to 0.5 and then 18.5. Um, if I press and hold shift, it should lock on there. Another way I can do this is I can make sure that if I go to view snap, snap is on, um, centered, um, proportional to each other, and I have a diptych. So now I'm gonna go to file, save as, and I'm gonna call this Diptych 001, child smoke. I'm gonna save this as a PSD. I'm gonna save this as um, with layers. And now I'm gonna say okay. And now I have that document uh, saved as a diptych and I'm good to go.